Do you know about dividing cells? Don't worry, we're here to tell. Do you know about mitosis? What about meiosis? We'll teach you, it'll be like hypnosis. Mitosis starts off with prophase, and once we're done, you'll be in a daze. First chromosomes join and organize, the nuclear membrane begins to hide, the spindle apparatus soon appears, then it quickly attaches to central meat. In metaphase, chromosomes line up at the equator. Daughter cells will come later. The chromosomes have been duplicated, one spiller from each chromatid. In anaphase, centromeres will separate, the chromatids will pull apart, just you wait. For chromosomes, that means twice as many. What traits could they have? They could have any. Chromosomes begin to retreat. Two cells are about to secrete. In telophase, chromosomes go to the poles. They are ready to fulfill their roles. The nuclear membrane begins to reform. The nucleoli are back. That's the norm. Chromosomes begin to fade. Two identical daughter cells will be made. Chromosome telophanes would be 16. That's one of the process that ever been seen. But these chromosomes are chromatids. That's because such a mirror which we got rid finally comes. The psychokinesis, mitosis, will finally be ceasing. Cytoplasm quickly divides. The cleavage furrow pushes to both sides. And so the cell has finally split. For mitosis, that's finally it. Mitosis produces two diploids. Meiosis produces two haploids. They are different. That's what I say. But wait, it's time for interphase. G1, S and G2. They make up interphase. Chromosomes are referred to chromatin, both in that stage. In G1, there's metabolism and growth. There are two Gs, remember them both. In S, there's DNA synthesis and duplication. G2 is about cell division preparation. Meiosis today is all the rage. Like mitosis has two distinct stages. Mitosis is responsible for sexual reproduction, meiosis results, new genetic combinations. In prophase 1, chromosomes, they organize and match. Homologous pairs, yo, they begin to attach. There's a phenomenon called crossing over. Things with chromosomal pairs, just pass them over. For crossing over, there's always a lot of, it always happens at the chiasmata. mata. In metaphase one, the chromosomes, they line up at the equator. Of course, we all know daughter cells. We'll just end up coming up later. In phase one, two groups ensue. It's after each what all those chromosomes do. Each group has chromosomes that are paternal, and don't you forget about those that are maternal. In telophase 1, 2 cells result, you can bet they're new, but yo, guess what? It's almost time for prophase 2, get ready to buckle your shoes. But first we have interkinesis. You expect DNA to copy in little pieces, but no, DNA is not duplicated. Each chromosome is still two chromatids. In prophase 2, chromosomes condense. In metaphase 2, chromosomes they line up at the equator. Yo, it just makes sense. And then in phase two, chromatin is separated. That's because the centromers have been negated. At last, television two, the cell divides. Man, meiosis, what a rockin' ride. We have done mitosis and meiosis. So now let's review. What are the differences between the two? Meiosis has a synapsis. In any phase two, the centromers split. It divides twice. Mitosis only divides once. Isn't that nice? For cells, meiosis leaves two pairs. Mitosis only yields one. Just doesn't seem fair, does In mitosis one, cells are double. Half as many chromosomes per cell, but that's no trouble. Mitosis two is like mitosis with chromosomes used. The number of chromosomes is not reduced. So that's all we have for you folks today for mitosis and meiosis. That's all we can say. We leave you with all the rest. We hope you enjoy and do well on the rest of your tests.